Starting paragraphs, the one thing that differentiates just ordinary type from a paragraph is the fact that when you're typing, every time that you hit the return key, you're signaling to the typesetting system you want to begin a new paragraph. Now, structurally, a paragraph in writing represents a series of related thoughts or ideas. When you're transitioning to talking about something very different, it's time to create a new paragraph. So in learning to write and structure your writing, that's what the paragraph is. Logically connected ideas. When you start morphing on to something else, then it's time to begin a new paragraph. So keep in mind, hitting return is the way to start a new paragraph. Now we need to think about how we format those paragraphs. Because we want people to actually read them. And when you look at type, especially like this, that's unstructured, it's very difficult to entice somebody to want to read that. It all looks too dense and too much the same. It's like trying to feed a young kid an 18-ounce porterhouse steak. They're going to sit there and bang their knives and forks on the high chair, and they're going to cry and say it's too much. Cut it down into nice little bite-sized nibbles, and they're going to devour it. Cut those little nibbles into the shape of Mickey Mouse's head, and they're going to go through the entire thing and demand more, despite the fact that they've got a sore stomach. So how you format text affects how much people are willing to read it. How you format text actually affects comprehension. Let me just reiterate that. How you format text actually affects comprehension. How somebody understands the material. Even a simple thing like putting your text into uh, serif will increase the reading comprehension than if you took the exact same text and put it into a sans serif font. The brain apprehends it more. How do we format a paragraph? Well, if we look at the paragraph palette here, the first thing we can do, just by clicking on the paragraph, is we could center it, or flush it right, or justify it with the last line flush left. Justify it with the last line uh, centered, flush right, or fully justify that last line. So there's justification. This is, okay, I'm just going to put that in there. This is justified flush left on last line. Let's click on this paragraph and we'll center it. This paragraph is centered, period, space. And of course, this one this paragraph is flush right. And so we have these various choices open to us. And this one is just a normal flush left paragraph. This is a normal flush left paragraph. All right, so we can format paragraphs via alignment here. You can also do it up here. Um, I'm just going to make it all flush left. Command A to select all of it and make it all flush left. All right. Command A to select all of it. And now I'm, well, let's take this paragraph right here. I'm going to indent its left hand side. I'm going to take the right hand side and indent the right side of that paragraph. 
I'm going to make that paragraph justified actually so we can see it better. So we can indent the left and the right hand side of a paragraph as well. Just to make this piece of text stand out. You see this done often with pull quotes where they pull out a quotation from the body copy and accentuate it and set it apart from the rest of the copy. Uh, we're just going to put that back to zero. Okay, here's another one, indenting the first line. This helps us to locate where the new paragraphs begin. So first line indent. You can pretty much tell from the iconography what each function is. So indenting the first line, that's another way. I'm just going to set that back to zero. We can put space before a paragraph. Look at that. We can put space after a paragraph. So we can have asymmetrical spacing. A little bit of space before and a lot of space after. So we have these nice controls over how we're breaking these paragraphs down. You would never do both. You would never use an indentation in the first line and paragraph spacing. That's overkill. You use one way or the other. Let's set that back to zero. Now I don't need to put a space before this first paragraph and I don't need to put an indent in this first paragraph of my column because my brain already knows where it begins. But I need to put them here and I need to put them here to help my brain see that each of these paragraphs represents a separate idea. And so these are our paragraph functions.